Hi, boys and girls. I know that today we got some pretty sad news. Um, I'm really upset that we're not going to be able to meet in school anymore and finish out the year together. That makes me really, really sad. And I know that all the other teachers at Central and everybody else in the building, just we miss everybody in it. It's a really, really hard thing, um, but it's important for us to stay healthy. So that being said, I'm still here for you. I miss you a ton. I'm still your teacher. I will not only continue to read you stories, but it sounds like next week we're also going to be doing some other types of learning. I'm not really sure what that looks like yet, but we do also have our Zoom meeting planned for Friday. So I'm really excited tomorrow to hop on and get to see you. So that'll be really fun. Another really piece of good news today is it's Ava's birthday. So happy birthday, Ava. I miss you, honey. I hope you're having an awesome day. And with that, let's go ahead and get started with our story because I think you're really going to like this one. Today's story is called Edwina the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct. So this story is written by Mo Willems. You may already like Mo Willems stories and didn't even know. He wrote Don't Let the Pigeon Cross the Road and he writes the Piggy and Elephant stories. So he does the pictures and writes the words. He's really talented. So I think you're going to like it. Here we go. Everyone in town knew Edwina. She was a dinosaur who played with the neighborhood kids. She was the dinosaur who did favors for anyone who asked. Edwina helped little old ladies cross the street and she baked chocolate chip cookies for everyone. Everybody loved Edwina except Reginald Von Hooby Dooby. Reginald knew just about everything about just about everything. He liked to give reports in class about all the things he knew. Today, he was going to talk about things that are extinct, specifically dinosaurs. But as soon as Reginald started, Beth McFeeder asked, what about Edwina? She's a dinosaur. Then Tommy Britcher said, yeah, Edwina can't be extinct. She makes chocolate chip cookies for us. And then Miss Mink added, maybe Edwina's baking chocolate chip cookies right now. Before he knew it, everyone except Reginald was outside eating cookies. No one listens to me. With that dinosaur round, thought Reginald. Well, tomorrow I'll prove the whole town that dinosaurs really are extinct. And poof, Edwina will disappear. The next morning, Reginald handed out flyers that made excellent arguments about how extinct dinosaurs are. They also made excellent hats. Doesn't look like they're taking his report very seriously. When flyers didn't work, Reginald tried protesting. When protesting didn't work, tried everything you could think of.
but no one listened. Finally, Reginald broke down and cried. <laughs> he sobbed. Why won't anyone listen to me? I'll listen to you, said a voice from behind him. Reginald took Edwina by the hand to his classroom. Inside, Edwina listened as Reginald told her the truth about dinosaurs. He was persuasive. He was expressive. He was loud. He was very convincing. Edwina was shocked. When he was done, Reginald felt fantastic. No one had ever listened to him for so long. Everything Reginald had said made sense. There was no doubt about it in Edwina's mind. She knew she was extinct. She just didn't care. And by then, neither did Reginald Von Hoobie Doobie. Sometimes people just need somebody to listen to them. I like that book. I think it's funny. I wish there was a dinosaur the big chocolate chip cookies. I think that would be awesome. Um, tomorrow... Before we do our Zoom meeting, do one favor for me. In the meeting, we're going to share good news just like we would in our classroom. So everyone who joins on is going to get a chance to share something either that they're looking forward to or something fun that they've already done. So I want you to have your idea ready. And I also want you to think about which celebration you would like to do because we're all going to celebrate together online. It's going to be really fun. I'm excited. All right, Ava, eat some cake for us. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye.